some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, Russell from Georgia Transparency reads off some emails that he FOIA requested after his unfortunate incident at the Georgia prison. Link will be in the description. But anyway, he gets so butthurt after he discovers the way everybody thinks of him. Oh, it is so wonderful. And we discover a few more things about his past. So, let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on, everybody? Be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, without further ado, um, let's uh, let's get started into this. So, as I was emailing back and forth with uh, the Coweta Judicial District, um, District Attorney Herb Cranford, and... Uh, process of trying to gain an open record um, I followed up and requested um, some further uh, some further um, records as well and uh, you'll be really surprised to find out what I found um, this leads back to also where the incident happened at Coastal State Prison um, where we were arrested and charged from a public parking lot gathering content for our story so this made information pretty quick back to uh, back to back to this area over here. And so it begins. Ah, word is spreading about you guys, about clout chasing morons trying to cause trouble in any kind of building, no matter if it's a government facility or even private building. Which is a good thing, because it means your days of doing this kind of garbage are numbered. So we'll start off with an email that was sent from Sheriff Lynn Wood of Coweta County to District Attorney Herb Cranford uh, uh, with what appears to be the, uh, the arrest that happened at Coastal State Prison. Um, Sheriff Lynn Wood told the District Attorney that uh, I saw that and he's glad to see it. So you're glad to see... Uh, citizens being arrested for exercising their First Amendment rights. Uh, I'm glad to know that, Sheriff Linwood. I'm glad to know that you, you're glad to see people be arrested for exercising their First Amendment rights. You FOIA requested all the emails regarding your arrest, and now you're offended. You're butthurt about how they talk about you behind closed doors because of how much of a moron you are. I'm sure they got a good laugh at your stupidity. Well, man, I got some advice for you. If you don't want to be laughed at behind those doors, don't act like a gibbering idiot. This next email here uh, comes from uh, the Troop County, County Commissioner Eric Mosley that addressed to Herb Cranford, I wish you could call down there and have them held for a few days. Wow. Have us held for a few days for exercising our First Amendment. Holy cow. And this, it's, it gets a whole lot better than this, trust me. Alright, so this next email here is one email that comes from the Sheriff of Meriwether County, Chuck Smith. And the email reads to... Herb Cranford and Brian Hadley. Well, there you go. I figured he would have eventually been arrested for possessing kitty porn. Maybe talk with you. Maybe that's supposed to be your colleague in the prosecuting arena and enlighten him. Sheriff Chuck Smith, you, there's no way you're, this, this is not a conspiracy to fabricate a false crime against uh, Georgia Transparency without any baseline to this, is it? I, I, I don't think it is, but uh, that's what it looks like, in my opinion, is why must you turn my office into a house of lies? He's not trying to formulate a conspiracy against you, you moron. That's just his opinion as far as what you would have been charged with. That um, you may be trying to fabricate some, you know, a, a false crime against Georgia Transparency. Um, if you remember, Georgia Transparency exposed uh, Judge Rasnick for um, an incident that took place with a previous Meriwether County employee, Lori Dockery. Um, so inside that office as well, one of the clerks is Shannon Neely, which is the stepdaughter of Brian Hadley, the assistant chief under Chuck Smith. So all of this connects, um, and 
you know, this, this, I don't think this is a conspiracy to try and silence uh, Georgia transparency uh, for utilizing the First Amendment. Um, however, in my opinion, it does look this way. Uh, I had a different opinion on Chuck Smith in the past. I thought he was a great sheriff, but apparently I was wrong. Um, and we're all human. We can all be wrong from time to time. And Chuck Smith, you are not a great sheriff in my opinion. And this is absolutely absurd that you would even send an email like this that states those words. All right, lastly is a snippet of the one of the emails that I got back from him that I want to uh, closely highlight here. Um, we've told employees, for example, that auditors are known to use their middle finger to shoot a bird at, at members of law enforcement to try and get them to react negatively toward the auditor so the auditor can record it. We have told staff, we have told staff of our understanding that you are fired from the Coweta County Sheriff's Department and may have a bias against law enforcement and prosecutors, so our staff should not expect you to be a good faith actor who actively needs the service provided by our office. We told staff our understanding that you have recently been arrested in relation to your auditing. Well, isn't that interesting? They had information that he was fired from the Coweta Police Department. So it's a possibility this guy is an ex-cop. I wonder what he did to earn that termination. Behavior. And that you may become more desperate for attention and internet fame. So they should be more cautious in dealing with you. We have told employees not to engage you about your claims about the meaning and interpretation of the First Amendment because it is apparent to you and other auditors you have little understanding about the First Amendment law and its application. As for serving all other members of the community, we have instructed employees to continue to operate as we always have. Okay, so they're going to always, so they're going to operate to always want to openly admit to violating the people's rights. Um, it looks like you, Mr. Herb Cranford, in your offices have little understanding about the First Amendment law and its application, sir. You need a little brush up on it. And you know what? We can help you out. And I'll give you one. Freedom of speech. I'll see if you can figure out the other four. And it looks like we didn't get uh, service because we had a camera and we were asking questions. Herb Cranford, you wouldn't be doing this to try and silence us, would you? Nah, nah, you wouldn't do that. Exactly. Nah, you're a stand-up guy, aren't you? Nah, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't try to silence us for asking questions and exercising our rights um, that's been, you know, given to us. And there's Supreme Court case law that backs up, you know, filming in public and freedom of the press and everything. You wouldn't be violating that. No, 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 not Herb. Filming in public forums such as sidewalks or parks, yes, it's perfectly legal. But if you get into limited or non-public forums, it's still very much illegal unless those in charge of the building approve of it but you frauditors have very limited comprehension skills and thus get arrested time and time again for that